Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, a machine, a pin of a JCB, really hard, but it's steel it is, case hardened. I have a hell of a job breaking through the case hardening. I show quite a lot of that. There's also a little bit of plasma cutting. Last weekend was our local steam rally at Chesley Street. We had a good time, but we did have issues with a wagon on Sunday night and ended up having to sort of tour it back home. It was nice that quite a few of my viewers come along, shook me hand and say hello. It was uh, a little bit humbling actually, and it was amazing how many people looked at us and they wanted to say hello, but they didn't. I don't know why, because I certainly do not bite. Um, I've done a couple of videos there up on the Patreon channel, and they'll be on here probably on Monday night. The Patreon channel is done quite well. There's a link in the description box of the video. Have a look. If you want to sponsor me or become a Patreon, please feel free to do so. If you don't, don't bother. It won't make any difference at all to what you see. The nightcaps are just the same. The only thing is the feature videos, like steam rise and that sort of thing, you'll be delayed by a fortnight. In the description box, there's also a link to a fellow creator, a lad called Matt. His channel is Urkfab, and he does car modifications, a lot of fabricating, welding, but mainly cars. He has the same plasma table as myself, a 4x2 Extreme Plasma table. He's also sponsored by Rob from Extreme Plasma. He's actually doing a raffle for a complete plasma setup, the same as mine. It's worth nearly seven grand, and the tickets are a tenner. It's going to be worth a tenner to win a seven grand plasma table. Anyway, have a look, see what you think. His channel is also pretty good. Uh, I do watch it, I do enjoy watching it. This is a pain off a JCB. Dig out of some description. And I haven't got to make a new one. All I've got to do is drill and tap a hole in there for a grease nipple, throw it to here, and then a cross drill through there and put a groove in for the grease. And then this end, you want to start drilling and tapping 12mm to hold the bullet. I'm going to put it in a 3 jaw chuck and do that part in the lathe. The other part, I think I'll mount the device and just do it in the middle of the machine because obviously that won't fit inside the chuck. And it would be putting a 4 jaw chuck on, it's not ideal to grip it that way. But I can put it in the device in the middle of the machine or clamp it to an angle plate, we'll, we'll do something with it. I'm just going to put it in the 3 jaw chuck. There's quite a bit of jaw sticking out, but I'm only going to drill a hole, I'm not going to do any heavy turning, and there is more than half the jaw still engaged in the in the screw, so it'll be it'll be alright for what I want to do. But you've obviously got to be aware if these bits are spinning around, you don't want to be getting caught in them. And that's what unreasonably true. This is one of the better things I actually bought for this lathe, this this three jaw chuck. It really is a a nice bit of kit. Right, so we'll drill that, it'll be 5mm because that's a tap and drill for 6 down to that depth there. This pin will probably made out of decent material, I'm not sure, but I'm not sure I'm going to find out. I'm going to speed it up one gear. There's a swath coming out of the back of the hole, you can continue, but when it starts to block up, then you back the drill out and put a bigger drill in. This is 4mm, we need to go to 5 You can hear it make a little clicking noise there, that's the beginning of the end sort of noise. Get this 
400. The rules are a problem. Okay, I'll definitely keep them off now. Right, I've got an M6 machine top. Found out in this royal purple. 2015 makes an excellent cut and lubricant. Enough thread for a piece of paper. Should hold it the face all right. Just straight above centre, so that's going to be okay. Just check the depth again, and the depth on his white mark is spot on. Centre drill that, and then drill through. A fool for the grease to come through. Then put it back in the lathe, which I should have done before, in machine a groove in there. At least now when it's in the lathe I can put a centre in there to, uh, to steady it. Right. Need to find the centre. You can do it by feel that's just missing there. And that's the centre there. Or at least it's as near the centre as it makes no difference for what we're trying to do. Right, so that's his mark. Check again for the depth. Definitely plenty, right? This is hard. You get hard on that centre drill blunt. It's a good chance to be case hardened the pin actually like a hard skin on the outside of it. It is outside of that is really hard. So I think what I'll do, I'll put it back in the lathe and put a groove in there for his oil, to, his grease to come around just to break through the hardness. It'll only be a, say, a case hardened pin. Well, carefully have a clearance over the cross side with that big bit. Just, just got it. Yeah, well, be careful, really careful. I could turn the compound side across, but I'm just going to put the tool in, poke it out the long way and see if we can get away with it. Right, I found a setup that works, not ideal, but it does work. I've just got enough clearance behind here to be able to machine a groove in there. But this is going to be not pleasant stuff at all. Nice and slow. Oh, 
all it is is a, a channel for the grease to run around somewhere to hold a little bit of grease. <coughs> Yeah, that's what's that's what's happening. centre because the centre is soft but the old same is obviously as hard as a pretty hard One gear faster as well. On the drill, I've got a carbide minimum cutter in there. I'm going to put water on. I've locked the table off so nothing's going to move around to give it a, its best chance. Now we'll put some speed on it. And then gently clean it up. So it actually grew up from the surface. So that's nice and soft now. So we can have a look. And that's only a mill and a half deep, that's all it is for the um, for the hardness. And it is it is hard. But it's soft there, yeah, so that's what it is. It's a case hardened or whatever. Case hardened pin. But now we can drill through and Sort that part of the job out. Right, nice new centre drill. <laughs> Did not make making much impression really, did it? Right, I've got a brand new Banggood four mil. Carbide drill or be a cobalt drill. It's got cobalt in it. We'll try this. Yeah. 
Oh, dear me. Oh, this is not nice. I think it's back to the middle of the corner and get a little bit deeper. Once done that, no favours. See what else I've got in my armoury of tough stuff. Right, that's a sort of carbide drill. The difference is like chalk and cheese that's walking through there. It's obviously well below the, the hard stuff now. Seems to hit another, another hard bit in the centre somewhere, yet it's drilled. No problem on the lathe. A very gentle old grip though here. That's it. Definitely thrown out. Right, that's that done, thank goodness.